Hey, what's up guys, the chosen one, you know the deal. Today we're gonna be doing a power level media Super Dragon Ball Heroes discussion video and we're gonna be discussing episode 10 and I really enjoyed this episode. It was action packed, I enjoyed the animation, it looked really crisp. Um, so let's get into it. So first of all, we started off, we saw the return of Grand Priest Goku. I see a lot of people have been calling him that. Essentially, he's just Ultra Instinct Goku. Uh, pretty much rocking the Grand Priest's uniform because he's training with him. Um, so we see the return of him and he faces off against Hearts. This is another new character that we've been seeing. And uh, But before he even gets to face off with Hearts, he has to fight these two uh, Sephorians or Tuffles, whatever you want to call them. And this Ultra Instinct Goku has no problems running through these Sephorians. I'm talking he's zooming all around them. The speed of Ultra Instinct Goku. He's not in Master Ultra Instinct, uh, Master Ultra Instinct, just regular Ultra Instinct. But the speed and his countering, and he's taking them both on with no problem. Pretty much tossing them around this whole area. And he's just nailing them with these hard-hitting blows. So eventually, the Sephorians have no other option but to fuse. So they fuse together, and they're called a separated. One is Kami, and the other one is Orin. So together, they're called Kami Orin. Not the most creative name, but they do look awesome fused together. Uh, spiky white hair. You could see they take on more of the male Sephorians' traits. Uh, really muscular and cut up. Uh, one side of the face has like the blue stripe, which is the male Sephorian. And then the red was the female Sephorian. And some kind of blue, uh, or actually some kind of purple uh, gem in the center of the chest piece. And then a red gem kind of thing on the left and right arms. Uh, one is red and one is blue. A uh, really unique design. I really like it. Kind of reminds me of like Frieza, like with spiky hair. I don't know if you guys kind of see that Frieza body, uh, but really cool fusion. I, I love that we're seeing all these fusions in Super Dragon Ball Heroes. And I was actually playing Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission on the Nintendo Switch, and I summoned a Gotan card. And it was Gohan and Mr. Satan fused together. And I was just dying laughing because it looks like the most goofy character. It's hilarious. And this is why I love Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Um, just because of the like the random fusions and just, just crazy insane things that happen in this uh, anime and in the video game. Um, but the video game is for Nintendo Switch. And if you guys haven't played it yet i definitely recommend it if you're into dokkan battle or dragon ball legends it's that same kind of style game and you're really gonna enjoy it. it's a gotcha card game so you're collecting cards uh building decks and it's like a turn-based rpg uh really awesome so it's finally out in america it's on the nintendo switch uh, this game was only in japan for years since i believe 2011 or even before that i could be wrong but it was an arcade game and you actually put these cards on this game table and play and then this this is the promotional anime that's going with this so like i said a really great game but back to the episode like i said this is awesome that we're seeing all these fusions and i just had to talk about that gotan because i thought it was really hilarious so we see the return of uh merge zamasu and Jiren is facing off against Merge Zamasu. He throws this awesome red, it's like this huge energy ball at Merge Zamasu. And Topo's on the floor, still knocked out from whatever battle. I guess when the Sephorians took him out, he's still laid out on the ground. And it's just this massive explosion. And the ball hits Merge Zamasu. And we just see all this explosions. And Topo's like, you know, did you defeat him? You did it. You defeated him. And Jiren's like, I feel stirring. And then you see Mirzamasu just emerge from the smoke. And he's like, I'm immortal. Don't you know that? So he's still immortal. So I don't know what the exact story. We haven't really learned too much about how he came back. So maybe we'll, I mean, obviously he's immortal. So maybe he just came back i mean it's for the game promotional anime so all this crazy stuff is gonna happen so kami orin charges ultra instinct goku tries to throw a couple punches to no avail ultra instinct goku just dodges the attacks with ease and lands a hard kick to kami orin's chest 
and kind of throws Kami Oren back, but they're like, uh, we're able to, not as much impact. So they're able to take the impact and the blows from Ultra Instinct Goku, because before Unfuse, they were just getting tossed around. So it's kind of like an improvement for them. They're able to take the attacks. They're not able to actually attack and do anything, but they're not going to die, <laughs> I guess. So um, Ultra Instinct goes up against Hearts, but before he's able to fight him, Hearts uh, summons the power of Lags. And he's like, Lags, I need your power. And we see this giant crystal formation behind Hearts. And he kind of just charges up and sends this crystal formation down at Ultra Instinct Goku. And it's kind of like an energy clash, but it's this big crystal and Goku's just trying to hold it up. And he's eventually able to break through this crystal um, energy beam, I guess if that's what you want to call it. And out of this crystal emerges Lags. And she's this, I don't I guess she's some kind of demon. She's like, she's got blue hair. Or she could be some kind of um, angel. I don't know. I can't really tell at this point. Um, she's got like a real sinister look to her. She's got two pigtails, blue skin, and she comes out of these crystals and she says, she says attack um, with these crystals. So the crystals are able to attack Ultra Instinct Goku and it just like destroys him. Like he has all these crystals just flying through him. I believe we see little blood. I think that's what the little spurts of red were um but and then out of the smoke we see ultra instinct goku he's not ultra instinct anymore he was actually knocked out of ultra instinct it just looks like base goku and he's all scratched up he's all beat up from this attack and goku's like who are you and then she's like i am lags so she's able to use this crystal energy, which is new. I've never seen anything like this in Dragon Ball Z before. I think it's unique. I think it's really cool to see this crystal. It could be some kind of magic for all we know. But she does really have a cool uh, character design. I like her outfit. Um, so cool. More characters. The more the better. And then we see uh, Vegeta. This In this episode, it's kind of sad because Vegeta and Trunks are kind of like just standing back watching all this go on and everybody's just jumping Goku and they're kind of just standing there. There's not much they can do. They're both worn out. We got Beast Vegeta and Beast Trunks and they're just pretty much watching everything. Um, and Trunks is like, I got to do something. So uh, Vegeta's like, I'll, they embarrassed me. I'll handle it. Sit back. And he powers up and he's able to go into evolution, which is awesome. I'm glad we get to see this again. He bulks up, uh, powers up. We see the royal blue streaks in his hair. Um, his eyes have that royal blue color. And I still don't like that name evolution, but they did say it in this. And Trunks is like, he's evolving evolution or something like that. So, And Trunks just kind of standing there in base form scrubbing it out he's not able to really do much he's we definitely need a new form for trunks i feel like he should be able to go at least you know super saiyan 3 have him do something crazy i mean it's super dragon ball heroes have him go super saiyan 4 or something i haven't seen super saiyan 4 trunks yet and i think i think that would be a really cool form to see why not? Give Trunks something. Jeez, he's been through so much. You would think that after all these battles and everything he's been through, he can go, you know, beyond. We saw that quick, um, whatever form he had, that Grade 3 and Super Saiyan Blue. And there's still no name for that. I believe we never got a name for that form. But he's not even able to access that, and it kind of sucks. I feel like he should be able to at least go Super Saiyan Blue by now. Or at least Super Saiyan 3. Like, show Trunks some love. I know I'm not the only one that, that thinks that Trunks needs a new form. But other than that, great episode. I loved how everybody was just showing off their strength. Power-ups here and there. We saw the return of Evolution, Vegeta. We saw the return of Ultra Instinct, Goku. And we saw these two new characters, Lags and Hearts. We saw Hearts in the previous episode, but we know a little more about them. Still two very mysterious characters. I love to see how they come into play later on in this promotional anime. And I can't wait until they release um, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution in the game. For uh, Hopefully they release a card in the actual Dragon Ball Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission video game. Because I would love to see that. And I would really want to see this Grand Priest 
Ultra Instinct Goku. If he's not already in the game, I, he might already be in the game for all I know. But hopefully we get those characters in the game. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about lags. And what do you think about hearts and this new power that lags has that I've never seen anything like it in Dragon Ball before. This crystal energy. I think it's really cool. It's unique. Um, and also check out my videos of Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission. Um, I've been doing live streams on Sundays. You guys could check me out. Pop in. Comment down below in the live chat. Um, the gameplay of that game, I love it. I love collecting the cards. I love building awesome decks. So make sure you guys check me out. Last week, I had a lot of fun with everybody that came in and chatted. I love playing this game. I haven't put it down since I got it. Uh, so many games that I have to play and beat, but I've definitely been hooked on this one. I always have my Nintendo Switch with me, so I'm always just picking it up, doing a quick arcade battle, or doing a quick level in story mode. But other than that, like I said, check me out on Sunday during my live stream, and all my live streams are archived to the Power Level Media YouTube channel, so make sure you guys check it out. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel for more Dragon Ball content, and what else can I say, guys? Power Level Media, Chosen One, out. Yes!